In the northern Senegalese city of Saint Louis, excavators are ripping up the beach to lay giant blocks of basalt in an 11th hour effort to keep the sea at bay. Sea levels have been rising here in recent years, forcing beachfront residents to abandon their homes to the advancing Atlantic Ocean. For several years, the inhabitants of the Lang de Barbary have been confronted with only one difficulty, the advancing sea. But since construction began, we have become optimists. Son Louis stands only a few meters above sea level. Floods and coastal erosion have become more severe in recent years. Many locals have had little choice but to move to a displacement camp inland as their homes have been swallowed up by the raging sea, the erosion and the crumbling ground beneath them. Life here is an ordeal. Our new lodgings are extremely hot and we live there with our whole family, as we have no choice. We have to stay here because our home was totally destroyed by the sea. This sea barrier is Senegal's attempt to manage the compounding problems. The mayor says the city is also planning an ambitious afforestation campaign. The aim is to gain at least 20 meters on the coastline and thereby free up 20 meters of houses, starting from the protective wall. And then to have four meters that will be reforested and left to the inhabitants for recreation activities, but which will not be inhabited. Son Louis is on the front line of climate change, and some are increasingly skeptical that the historic city can be saved at all.